Historically, the Lebanese have been emigrating since the Phoenician era. The Phoenicians were known for their exploratory expeditions as they sailed around the Mediterranean basin. They also sailed around Africa, and rumor has it, even to the Americas. The Lebanese people are linked genetically to the Phoenicians and are also characterized with a migratory spirit. The documented Lebanese emigration began during the second half of the 19th century. Emigration could be analyzed focusing on four questions. Why, when, where, and how many. Although Lebanon is a relatively small country, the Lebanese nation which embraces the people of Lebanese descent as an empire that spreads across the globe where the sun always shines. The famous Lebanese poet Saeed Ha'il expressed this fact in his own way. Anywhere we please, we build a Lebanon. Substantial emigration occurred between 1860 and 1914. During this period, approximately 330,000 Lebanese left the country. Between 1900 and 1914, the annual rate was approximated to be 15,000. The rate dropped sharply during the Mount Lebanon famine of World War I and immediately thereafter, but resumed at a net annual rate of about 3,000 between 1921 and 1939. The destination of early immigrants was Egypt, France, Africa, and the Americas. One of the reasons noted for the Lebanese immigration is the size of the country. Located in the cradle of ancient history, Lebanon's population could have been much larger if it was geographically a little more spacious. One can recognize that ultimately lack of natural resources due to the geographical location and terrain led to the Lebanese to look to the outside for personal economic growth. Among the many reasons for immigration is the economic setback that took place in the 19th century as Lebanon was one of the main breeding grounds for silk manufacturing. Lebanon boasts a high literacy rate. This is due to the influx of missionaries in the 19th century. This also led to the cultivation by the West of those individuals that showed promise. But the local conflicts also contributed to immigration since the internal conflicts of the 1860s to the subsequent wars and recurring civil strikes from 1939 to the present. During this era, many of the immigrants headed to the United States, Canada, Australia, and the Gulf countries. In 1986, the World Lebanese Cultural Union estimated that 13,300,000 persons of Lebanese origin were living abroad, the largest numbers in Brazil, the United States, and Argentina. Today, the number has climbed to over 15 million, and new waves of immigrants heading to Canada, Australia, and the Arabian Gulf. The fact that the population in Lebanon, according to the latest census, does not exceed 4.8 million, we get an astonishing 3 to 1 ratio in favor of those living abroad. It is very clear that the Lebanese human being is the relevant factor for Lebanon's entity. It is the treasure and the power in the absence of prime materials, natural and agricultural resources.
Lebanon is a melting point, composed of 18 different religions, destined to live and grow as one people. Many of these groups are rapidly diminishing in population due to immigration. The World Lebanese Cultural Union has been able to cradle the Lebanese immigrant and enable them to remain connected with the motherland. Subsequently, the WLCU is becoming the example for the new minorities in Lebanon. The Lebanese people may be spread out, but not dispersed. There is a need to organize the diaspora and there is a way to do it. During the 1940s and 50s, Lebanese clubs and associations began to unite under one umbrella in Australia, United States, and Latin America. This phenomenon culminated into the formation of the World Lebanese Cultural Union in 1959 in Mexico City. Since then, the Lebanese diaspora has been enjoying better networking and better communications, and subsequently, its energies are better synchronized and more dedicated to serve the Lebanese people inside Lebanon and abroad. The WLCU is structurally composed of two major divisions, the local member organizations and the world body. The local chapters or clubs deal with local issues and organize local events. The world body deals with the global issues and orchestrates the way these chapters should interact. Local chapters tend to focus on specific objectives such as social affairs, cultural, educational, sports, folkloric, charitable, media, and other events. Moreover, the world body be deals with a wider range of issues such as lobbying to safeguard Lebanon as a nation from foreign aggressions. It promotes mutual friendships and understanding between the host countries and Lebanon. It works to preserve the distinguished identity of the Lebanese diaspora. And also to organize such diaspora and make it more effective.
the world body participates in worldwide conferences that contribute to the curbing of immigration and other diaspora concerns. It works to establish a mutual cooperation with the Lebanese government, touching on issues such as regaining the Lebanese citizenship and the immigrant rights to vote. 